Okay, so development environment set up. You'll need to have Python in order to run the exercises. Now, install Python from python.org downloads. If you install it using any other methods, such as the Windows Store or other links, you're likely to have some kind of problem. So just use that there. Now, that's the page it will take you to. Now, it's given me a button already to download Python 3.9.2 or my operating system, which is perfect. I've already installed it, so I don't need to install it. So I've installed the 64-bit version, which was all automatically chosen for me, and Python works. Now, I can test that Python works by typing that into a command prompt or PowerShell or bash prompt or anything. So open up a command prompt or something on your computer or other terminal on your computer. You can open up command like so, or PowerShell, which I'll be using PowerShell throughout this course. So I'm going to open up PowerShell there, zoom into it. And first thing I want to type is, as it says here, that one there, Python hyphen V. Notice the capital V there, and it tells me I have Python 3.9.2. If you don't have Python installed, it's going to give you an error, or it's going to say Python 2.9 or 2.7, for example, like 2. Point. What you want for this course is Python 3.9.2, or basically just Python 3, anything Python 3, since all the code in this course will work on any version of Python 3. So there you go. Now notice that I use the word Python there. On some systems, such as Linux, depending on how you've installed Python it can also be called Python 3 it's not called Python 3 on my Windows machine but if I was on a Linux machine this is an Ubuntu 20.04 so if I typed Python hyphen V to that it's going to give me a problem but actually Python is usually installed by default on modern Linux systems so if I was to type Python 3 hyphen V it now tells me Python 3.8 5. Now that's good enough. All the code will work on that version of Python, so I'm happy with that. So just be aware, if you're using Linux, you'll start Python using Python 3, most likely, instead of Python hyphen V. On the older versions of Linux, if you were to type Python hyphen V like that, it would either give you an error, like it does now, or it will tell you Python 2.7 or 2.5 something. What you want to use is Python 3 plus. So there you go. So on my Windows machine, I have Python 3. And I can verify that just by typing Python hyphen V, that 3.9.2. Excellent. Now, there is a lot of code in this course. We look through some of the pages. You can see there's code there. Now, you can copy this code and put it into folders if you like. But the easiest thing to do would be to install it from either GitHub by using this command, git clone, like so. That is if you have Git installed in your system, not everyone does, or you can download a zip from this link here. And on Linux, you would use the wget command and zip it using the command line. But in the browser, you can just click it there, open it up, and there we go. And there's all the code here, py files that we'll use throughout the course. So extract that into a location on your file system. I've already done that down here, the design patterns in Python. Or you can even create your own folder, make directory CD to it, and then start creating all the code manually by copying from the pages, if you like. A concept, you can copy that. Copy to clipboard now and go into the command prompt and save that. But I don't need to do that because I've already downloaded it. And also, I recommend if you're on Windows to use Visual Studio Code, VS Code. I've already installed it. You can get it from here. Now, the great thing about this is if I was to open up PowerShell, which I am, and I CD to the folder where I've extracted that zip, so CDE design patterns in Python. Okay, so I'm in that folder. I can DIR. I can just type CODE dot like that, and it opens up Visual Studio Code for me already with all the files that are in that extracted zip. Okay, so there we go. Now, also, I have been using Python for quite a while on my computer, so VS Code is already set up use Python. Here, if your system has never used Python before, you'll get a prompt to install the Visual Studio Code extensions. They are here. So down here, it's starred down here, Python, the Python extension for Visual Studio Code. It already has prompted me to install that, so I can see that it's working. So once that is installed, you should get a little down the bottom left here near my mouse. It says my interpreter I'm using is 3.9.2, 64-bit, and that is all good. So I could straight away open up a terminal. So that's control plus that single quote there. And it's open up an integrated 
PowerShell console inside VS Code. So, and I'm already in the folder, Design Patterns in Python. So I can type LS or DIR to search the folder contents. There we go. So I could CD into the facade or factory folder. Once again, LS. And now I can run Python on one of these scripts. First one I'll do is called factoryconcept.py. Python factory concept py remember if you're using linux or mac os x you might have to type python 3 and there we go it's run the first piece of code in the course but anyway we'll discuss more about that in the section on the factory pattern but that's the idea that's the code that i just run anyway this video is about making sure your environment is set up so we won't look at the code too much detail right at the moment okay so there we go there are other ides or you could even just use notepad if you really wanted to and windows file explorer it doesn't really matter but i just find these tools very useful in helping you to understand what problems you might have in your code at design time okay so in the next video we'll look at some information about the coding conventions that i've used throughout the course excellent